Hey guys, welcome back to the Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets on the PlayStation 2 Let's Play. This is part 13 and it's a new day at Hogwarts. And I'm just saving just so I don't lose any progress that I've done up to now. I'm going to do this every single new day and new night. I think Draco Malfoy You're so behind, test. Neville. But uh, let's go down and uh, find out what class we have. We got first today. It's chance with Flitwick. I'll meet you on the second floor. So let's check the notice board. We have to find a toad whom answers to the name of Trevor. Alright, so we'll have to keep an eye on Ginny apparently. So we have charms today. So that is located on the second floor so we need to go down there and have charms and Flitwick is the teacher and we're going to learn a spell which we actually learn in Flosser Stone on the PlayStation 2 as well but uh, as I've said before this game came before Flosser Stone so it's not like um, it's not like uh, this game copied the first one and this game does everything that happens in the first game you know it's the other way around they are very very similar you learn like the exact same spells actually i do think you learn exactly the same spells except for abby force that's a new spell which we don't learn in fluff of stone so that's quite good so here's second floor, and there's Ginny actually, but she's ignoring us for some reason. So let's enter classroom 2E to have charms with Flitwick. Flitwick. See you after the cutscene. morning class. Today's lesson will most assuredly involve us in learning how to cast the appositely named Bluebell Flames. The proper incantation for this charm is Incendio. You will now see that a crawl space has been revealed in the wall. Beyond this is the Incendio Challenge. Mr. Potter, if you wouldn't mind coming forward, please. The Incendio Spellbook is located on the other side of the crawl space. Once you've managed to collect it, the Incendio Charm will be yours. You must then return here to the classroom. Do you understand, Mr. Potter? I do, Professor. Very well then. Off you jolly well go. Alright, so we're being sent through yet another crawl space because we have to go and find the Incendio spell book, which is the spell that we're going to learn. Incendio. Um, yeah, that's right. So, um, yeah, we're just being sent into the challenge now. And this is actually the last lesson that we have in the entire game. So we're almost done with the game, actually, already. And we can't get back. So, jump down here and you will be confronted with... Uh, firstly, we're going to put on uh, Expelliarmus, because when you jump down here, you're going to be confronted with a car coil. Yes. And I think I said this in part 11 or something like that, that... Um, we're actually going to battle three gargoyles in this spell challenge, the Incendio spell challenge. This is the first one, but thankfully the other two only takes like three hits to kill or something like that. So they don't take much uh, time to destroy, kill, whatever. But this one does take some time because he's just like normal health, I think. But still, as I've said before, I really hate these gargoyles because they're so repetitive and fighting them is really boring. I just don't really think that these gargoyles is like a good thing. I, I just 
think they're negative, you know? I just don't really like them in this game. I just don't like it. So that's just how I feel. Alright, so uh, he's uh, almost dead. So I'm just going to say something. I actually have a cold right now. I've had that for the couple of last days. You might be able to hear that I have a cold if I'm talking like differently and it sounds a bit like, eh, you know, it sounds a bit uh, strange, my voice. But that's because I have a cold, but I need to do this now to edit together this video now. So I just decided to do this, even though I shouldn't really be doing commentary when I have a cold, but I have to. So I'm doing it and that's just how it is. And I'm, I will be doing that much in this video. I I will probably I will probably sneeze in this video as well. But I'll try to do that in the cutscenes so that I can cut it out, you know, so that you won't hear it. And here's the second gargoyle. And one more stupid thing that I'm doing right now is that I'm sitting in a very very cold room. There's actually coming. You know when you breathe in like the cold, you can see your breath, and that's exactly what I can see now. And I should be I shouldn't be sitting in this room when I have a cold, but I am. And oh my god, what happened there? Sorry, I'm just trying to hold back a sneeze, and it's really difficult. I'm sorry, this is really, this is really disgusting to listen to, I'm sorry. If you find, if you find this really annoying, you can just skip past this video because I understand me sneezing and making a lot of noise because I have a cold is really disgusting to listen to. So I do understand if you guys, um, skip past this video or something like that because I understand that this is very disgusting and very annoying to listen to but I can't really help it and I need to do this now so I'm just going to do it and that's just how it is so uh, we can now enter in here and this is where the incendio spell book is so we'll just run over and pick up the incendio spell book Alright, so I'll place that on triangle. And one more thing, we actually have every single spell in the entire game right now. There's not one more spell to get in this game. We have every single spell in the game. And that is really cool, really good. Um, so this does, this did take some time for me. What you're supposed to do here is that all four of these torches, or whatever you call it, have to be lit for the gate or the exit to open. And sometimes it's quite hard, you can see the first one there went out. So this sometimes, sometimes this does take me a lot of time, and it did take me some time in this video, but I didn't cut it out because I couldn't be bothered to do it. So you'll just have to see a couple fails before I make it. Which I don't really think you mind. Because I don't know, fails might be funny to watch or something like that, I don't know. They might be. At least, um... I do make it eventually. But it, I am going to be honest, it did take me a while before I managed to do this. Uh, sometimes, I remember uh, a time before I did this, or sometimes before when I've done this, I've been able to do it in like the first try. But then sometimes you just fail like a lot of times before you manage to do it. 
and this was one of those times. And it went out yet again, so I'll have to try again. I'm really sorry if you can hear some background noise too, but I can't really help it. Just ignore the background noise if you can hear it. Some people just don't shut up. So sorry about that, but that's just how it is. Who cares? So I liked it, and this was really annoying because I managed to get to the door, but then I got stuck in the door. So I didn't go through and that was really annoying. I think I cussed a couple of times when I did that. Which I usually do anyways. It's not like a huge um, revolution or, you know, a huge uh, thing that I cuss because I uh, actually do it quite a lot. I, I don't know why, but I do. I'm just a very expressive person, so... Cussing is a great way for me to express myself and I don't really care what anybody else thinks because uh, They're just words and when I do use them Well, I say that it's just words, but of course, it's not just words when people um, um, Receive them in different ways, you know but um, I only cuss when I'm really uh, um, I don't know uh, when I'm really uh, I need to like state my opinion and I'm not really afraid of telling people that they're you know I'm not going to say the word but I'm not afraid of saying what I think and stating my opinion I am not afraid of that and I never have been and I never will be either I just really like it when people are honest and express their opinion like me not when they express their wrong opinion because a, an opinion can be wrong but i know when i'm wrong and when i'm not wrong so uh i don't like it when people express a wrong opinion for example that they're against homosexuality or uh women's rights or that they hate transgendered people and transsexuals. I hate that. Because that is a wrong opinion, obviously. And if you don't think it's a wrong opinion, please exit this video and uh, go jump off a bridge. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to. I, 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 I hate it when I get so, like, um, I get so offend. I get so. Um, expressive in my videos like uh, really express my opinion and tell people to sh fuck off and things like that but you know it is a wrong opinion and if you're that kind of a person I don't really want you to watch my video so you can just leave not only leave my video but leave earth so uh, yeah that's just how that is but I do love it when people express their opinion about things that can be discussed not things that can't be discussed because that's just wrong just remember that guys if there is something that is uh, that you can discuss if there's something that you can discuss then please express your opinion about it and be honest about your opinion because the world will never change if you don't express your opinion it will never change so just do that and fight for your opinion and what you believe in and someday it might come true you never know that's at least my dream uh, in my life that I want to do I want to spend my life changing the views of the world that is something that I would like to do and of course become a writer because I would love that. But that was the charms class and also the incendio spell challenge will now return to class and receive house points from Flitwick.
excellent potter, 40 house points to Gryffindor. That is all for today. Class dismissed. Hey, Harry, don't forget you've got the Quidditch match against Ravenclaw. Come on, let's go to the stadium. So we have um, Quidditch yet again. We seem to have Quidditch every day. But first, before we leave the classroom, we're going to use Alomore to open up this chest. We actually haven't used Alomore before in this Let's Play, even though we got it a while ago. So that's a wizard card, and that's a wizard card number 26. 26, yeah. And uh, four more, and we will be able to get more health. So. I hope I am not talking too quietly and that you can't hear me, but that's because I have a cold and I'm a little bit sick, so it's a bit difficult for me to talk. So yeah, uh, we're now going to make our way down to the Quidditch pitch to have Quidditch, and uh, apparently I think Ron said that uh, the Quidditch match was against Ravenclaw. I think he said that, at least. And, uh, yeah, you do actually uh, have Quidditch matches against every house in this game. We've had a Quidditch match against Hufflepuff. We're now going to have a Quidditch match against Ravenclaw. And we will have, and we will have a Quidditch match against Slytherin in part 15. So yeah, and that's not too long, and uh, I think this Let's Play in total will have 16 parts, so we're almost done. This Let's Play is almost done already, which is of course great that I did this Let's Play very, very quickly. I will soon upload a voting video. I only have two games that you can vote between on this time, and those two games are two games that... I think people really, really want to see, and that's why I've picked them. So I will upload a voting video soon, so that you guys can vote on which game you would like to see. But not yet. I will do it uh, soon though, but it might be after this Let's Play is over, or it might actually be right before uh, this Let's Play is over. We'll see. So, before we go to the Quidditch pitch, I'm just going to go over here to the greenhouses and uh, see if I can find Trevor, uh, Neville Longbottom's toad. He's right over here. There he is. So, you can't just pick him up. You actually have to cast Rependo at him, which is kind of sad because Trevor is Neville's toad and I don't like it that we cast spells at it. So, Oh, Hogwarts looks really beautiful from here, but yeah, we will now make our way to the Quidditch pitch to have the Quidditch match against uh, Ravenclaw. I almost forgot it, and you can see that the spiders are making the way, making their way to the Forbidden Forest. Ooh, how scary! Uh, so yeah. We're soon at the Quidditch pitch now, and I really love how it looks outside. It's really sunny, and the sky is blue, the grass is green, and the trees are green, and I just, and I love the rocks. I just love rocks. It's very, very beautiful right here in this game. Very beautiful. So we'll now enter the Quidditch pitch for the Quidditch match against Ravenclaw. Welcome to the Quidditch Stadium, and welcome to what should be a really thrilling match. Ravenclaw versus Gryffindor! Ravenclaw 
All right, so we're thrown right into the Quidditch match. We've already played Quidditch, so we all know how to do this by now. You just have to fly through the rings and then boost. And when you have boosted a couple of times, you will be able to grab the snitch. And then the Quidditch match will be over. And that's it. As I've said before, I don't really like Quidditch that much to play. I like Quidditch. That's not what I mean. I love Quidditch in the books and in the movies. But I don't like to play Quidditch in the video games. I just, that's not really my cup of tea. I just don't really like doing that, so, uh, but that's just me, who knows. Uh, yeah, this is the second time we're boosting and we still didn't manage to grab hold of the snitch. So I think we have to boost a third time, which we haven't done yet in a Quidditch match, but this time we had to. So, oh my god, the Ravenclaw uh, chase, uh, chaser, the Ravenclaw, uh, what's it called again? The Ravenclaw seeker is uh, in front of us. That's not good. But he don't, he doesn't manage to grab the snitch because I'm quicker. And that's true. So... Yeah, we're soon at the snitch. We can soon grab the snitch and then we'll be done with the Quidditch match. Alright, so uh, enter in on the snitch, please. Are we there soon? Oh my god, apparently we have to boost a fourth time. Oh my god, we have to boost yet another time. Alright. We don't have a choice though, we just have to do it. And the Seeker is right at my tail yet again. Why can't he just bugger off? Just go away. Alright, so a few more ranks and we'll be able to boost. Oh my god. Oh stop it. Please just let me boost. All right, boosting and closing in on the snitch. Yay. All right, so we can now grab the snitch and be finished with the Quidditch match. A match! Those Ravenclaws didn't know what hit them. Anyway, I don't know about you, but I'm worn out just from cheering. I'm going to bed. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Come back for the next part and we will do yet another night mission. See you then. Point totals are being calculated. Swimming.
Slytherin is in the lead.